my name is Jereen and we were at the So Festival in Skegness. We were at Tower Gardens and we're here as part of the journalist project's Mighty Creatives. What am I doing? I work for the District Council and the District Council has organised the event. Um, we've worked with a whole range of partners to put this together and part of my job is to make sure that everything runs smoothly. But I'm doing all sorts of things. Today I'm working on an information point. Last night I was um, involved in security for the firework event. So lots of different things. Okay, why is like why 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 do a festival yeah why just, a festival? is there a cause there's or? there's lots of reasons really um part of it is about making sure that people get the opportunity to try different things and do things that they maybe haven't seen or done before okay. part of it is to bring people into skegness because a lot of people have an idea that skegness is very old that it's dirty that it's all about candy floss but actually it's a really nice place so it's to try and get people to come and obviously if people come then they spend money in the businesses and the hotels and you get the, the business economy as well so it's all of those things together We're now going over to the Illumia area, which is that big inflatable over there. We're now in a really bright bubble. My voice echoes in here. My name is Jeroen. Jeroen, I'm from Holland. Uh, I travel with the structures from Architect of Air. This is a level D2. Uh, we have at the moment five structures and we travel around the whole world. Wow. And now at the moment we are with Levity 2 in Skegness. Okay. Why here? Why here? They invite us. They invite us for this event to come over at Luminarium. Uh, the promoter, he knows us for a long time. And that's the reason that he wants to do it also here in Skegness. Okay. How do you make this? How we make it? Every piece is handmade. Uh, our workshop is in Nottingham. Uh, the designer and the architect is Alan Parkinson. He lives in uh, Jax, it's nearby the border of Swiss and France. Um, we make it in Nottingham. Every piece that you see, we glue it together in the workshop and then we have zips all together and we zip it together everyone to make one structure. Wow! And at the moment we have six blowers and they put the whole time air inside and that's the reason that you can see the whole structure look like this. Very nice. I love well, it. I think it's actually really cool. It's just like amazing. Although it's quite warm in here, I it's must admit. Boiling. It's boiling. It's really warm. It what do you say, Jereen? It makes you feel really spacey and like not in yourself. It makes it's you like you're like in a giant balloon. Out Literally. Keith said that like we're in a different world but really we're in Skegness. Uh -huh. But it feels like you could be anywhere. You should seriously come down. It is actually it amazing. It's but make amazing. sure you bring loads of fans with you because it's like, oh my god. Here we are in the arts and crafts area and we're just going to go have a look around and see what we can find and go interview people. Okay, so what is it you're doing here? I'm joining together some sections for the Knit Together Links project, which is to knit an Olympic racetrack for the Olympic Games 2012. Okay. Is this to get people joining together or what does this Exactly, do? exactly right. Yeah, to get people to, to join together to do projects in a community or a school and also to um, promote traditional crafts like knitting. Also, there's crochet <coughs> and some other things I haven't heard of here. There's just diff different ways of make, making making fabric but it did start off as a knitting project. Oh. How long has the project been going on for? Um, I think I think I first heard of it around the Easter holidays. I'm not sure. 
so whenever that was, so that's right, quite made a June, long July. three or four months. Yes, so yeah. everyone's had time to do their own piece. To do bits, yeah. 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 My name's Tracy. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you do here? We make all handmade chocolates in Lincolnshire, so we have a variety of all handmade chocolates, um, and it's made with Belgian chocolate. Do you make the chocolates? Yes, yeah, so everything's handmade on the premises. Um, we do have a chocolate shop um, and an online shop where we sell from, um, but everything's made by ourselves. Yeah. Wow. Does it take? How long does it roughly take to make? Um, some items probably half an hour. Other items anything up to three or four hours, depending. Like the shoes, they're very popular. Um, they're quite time consuming. Okay. So. Have how long have you been making chocolates um i would say probably about seven or eight years now on wow. and off so yeah it's uh, it's a good job to be in i'm guessing you like chocolate uh yeah just a bit <laughs> smells so nice oh i wonder i wonder i wonder i wonder i wonder what it feels like i'm so so i'm karina and i'm autumn okay um where do you play? Like, do you play? In various places, mainly in Nottingham because we're based in Nottingham. Oh, so okay. A lot of gigs in and around Nottingham. Okay. What's the sort of music that you usually do? What's it called? The genre is neo soul, okay. which is a fusion of Motown soul, hip hop, anything you name it, it's all infused in it. Oh, okay. So, a mixture then. It is. Okay. So, do you write any songs? Yeah. I like? write, um, out of the songs that you heard today, the only one I didn't write is obviously the CeeLo Green. Yeah. But all the other ones I do write. And we, we all actually do a little bit of um, writing. We've got a song that we did uh, called One Live Your Life. That was a collaboration between all of us. But yeah, we all write. Wow. All write. How do you know each other? Like Family. <laughs> we are family. <laughs> I got my sisters with me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we're sisters and we're cousins. Yeah. Oh, so we're all people in the family. Yeah. So. That's the way forward. Say hi. 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 Yeah, we'll never be it. Tell them where we are. At the beach. Skegness, are you ready for the men's final? <laughs> I'm uh, Dave Miller, I'm the tournament director of the Volleyball England Beach Tour and this is the third tournament of five that we run across the summer on different beaches around the UK. Okay, and what other beaches have you visited? We've been to Great Yarmouth and Margate and then we're going to Weymouth next week and then our finals are in Bournemouth. Okay, do you play volleyball yourself? I do. Do you enjoy it? I love it, I absolutely love it. Are you good? Uh, I'm not as good as I used to be. Okay. Uh, these teams, where are they from? Uh, the teams come from all over England. Um, yeah. A lot of them come, uh, live in London, but others live on the south coast in Paul, Bournemouth, um, Bath, all oh, over. Nice. And uh, we have a lot of European players as well, but most of them live in London. Okay. Uh, we come to Skegness because of the sand. The sand is very good to play on. We need soft sand. We can't have uh, stones. And a lot of the beaches have stones. We also come here because uh, the East, Dist East Lindsay District Council uh, like to bring us here and they put money into the event and, um, okay. and help us to come and run the tournament. Have you visited the festival? We have. We've visited a couple of the things. We went to the games time thing last night and we've seen a few of the other bits and pieces happening around town. What do you think about it? It's interesting, lots of crazy fun stuff. Project Mighty Creatives. Okay, so what's your name? Uh, my name's Elliot Morris. Okay, so you play the guitar. Yeah, yeah that's right. Filmed you earlier. Um, where do you play? Why? Where? Where? Oh, all over the place. I'm uh, based in Lincolnshire, but uh, I travel around all across the country, playing gigs every week, just keeping busy. Okay. When did you start playing the guitar? Um, I started playing electric guitar when I was about 12 years old. Um, I'm 21 now. I moved on to acoustic when I was about uh, 
like 16, 17. I just, uh, I've, I did all my electric guitar grades and stuff and I just felt that I wanted to find something different and, and the acoustic guitar seemed to be the way to go. So, did you, were you taught by a teacher? I was taught electric guitar by a teacher, by an amazing guitarist called Andy Taylor, who um, taught me all my electric stuff and then he showed me a DVD of a guy called Eric Roach. Um, and I'd seen him and a guitarist called Justin King online. And then Andy um, moved away and I was then forced to either just teach myself electric, which I carried on doing, or, or sort of focus more on the acoustic guitar, which is what I ended up doing. Okay. Who inspires you? Um, it's loads of different people because obviously I'm into all the guitarists that do the kind of thing I do. There's an uh, amazing guitarist called Andy McKee and Eric Mongrain as well, both fantastic guitarists that I've, I've had the incredible opportunity to, to play with as well. But I'm also really into bands like Biffy Clyro and, and Ocean Size and then more folky acts like uh, Seth Lakeman as well and Frank Turner. So a huge breadth. Is there an actual name for the type of guitar um, ring you me, do? And, me and my family and friends joke and say that it's acoustic abuse because of the way I'm, I'm hitting it or, <laughs> yeah. or sort of slappy tappy but it's, it's really just um, sort of a acoustic finger style I guess. I mean I don't even, I try not to be um, sort of pigeonholed into being a guitarist. It's all for me more about than being song, you know, like I, I'm essentially just a folk rock singer yeah. and, and then the guitar part's only a vehicle for the songs, you know. Oh, so did you sing before you started Yeah, I mean, well, I think I've always sang and made a bit of a noise. I mean, my parents brought me up listening to the, the Beatles and Bob Dylan and I, I love those guys. And so for me, yeah, it's all about songwriting, you know, and, and the guitar just helps me do so, I guess.